Um, I'm Kyla Orr from the Scottish Association for Marine Science and uh, I'm doing research on the kelp of the, the Hebrides um, and the ecology of the beaches in the Hebrides where you find kelp washed ashore. This is the story of kelp in the Hebrides. Basically what you've got is off the west coast of North and South East you have long rocky reefs. These are populated by large forests of kelp. What happens in winter is these mighty Atlantic gales blow in, large waves push the seaweed off the rocks, ripping it from where they're attached. They then float around in the water column and eventually get cast off onto the beach where you get a mound of seaweed lying on the shore. This seaweed slowly rots down. As the seaweed starts decomposing, you get invertebrate life, lots of flies and bugs, insects basically living in this organic rich seaweed. This is happening at a perfect time um, when the migrating shorebirds start coming down to overwinter in the years and they then stop over and feed on the invertebrates living in the seaweed. What happens then is the seaweed further decomposes and you get nutrients running off into the sand and you get lots and lots of little worms living in the sand. These worms are also a very very important food source for the birds. Then what happens is you get lots of tiny pieces of kelp that float off into the water column, down the beach, into the waves, where they provide food for fish and other invertebrate life, which again are fed on by the birds. Further as the seaweed breaks down, all the nutrients flow offshore, back into the water column, towards the reefs, and they provide nutrients for the rapid regrowth of the kelp in time for the next winter storm to come along and start the cycle again. The really big part of my research is to try and determine whether seaweed can be extracted from the shores of the Hebrides sustainably so that it can be used for biofuel. Seaweed has been used in the Hebrides um, over the last hundred years for, for various purposes and the principal one to date has been as a fertiliser on, on the crofts um, of the, the local farmers uh, of the Eursts. The big thing with biofuel is trying to work out how much seaweed we can actually take off the beach so that we don't have an impact on the shorebirds and all the invertebrate life living on the seaweed. Um, biofuel would be very different from crofting in the way that you would want a regular supply of seaweed over a long period of time and um, this is going to lead to lots of ecological questions about its sustainability. One of the alternatives for seaweed for biofuel is to grow the seaweed on long, long lines in an aquaculture setting um, in the sheltered sea lochs on, on the west coast of, of Scotland. What you can do with, with um, seaweed aquaculture is you can link it into um, integrated aquaculture where you have seaweed farms growing next to salmon farms and they can suck up all the excess nutrients and, um, uh, and then you can remove the seaweed for, for biofuel after that. Um, but as with any development, um, you need to look at the, the possible environmental impacts and the, the research into the impacts of seaweed farm is in its infancy and needs to be considered um, quite carefully before we proceed with it.